Imagine being 77 years old and still as fit as someone half your age. That's Sylvester Stallone for you. Most of us know him as the tough, never give up boxer Rocky Balboa. But did you know, even at 77, Stallone's fitness can put many younger folks to shame? It's not just about looking good, it's about a lifestyle that keeps him strong and healthy. Today, we're diving into the secrets behind this Hollywood legend's amazing fitness. But before we do that, let's get to know who Sylvester Stallone really is. And I knew this was like the moment of truth. And they said, Sylvester, are you ready? I said, no, but Rocky is. Sylvester Stallone's story is one of true grit and determination, a tale that inspires many. Born in 1946 in the bustling neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen, New York, Stallone's life wasn't always glitz and glamour. His journey began with a challenging start. During his birth, a complication led to partial paralysis on the left side of his face, giving him his unique look and distinct speech. Despite these early challenges, Stallone was driven by a passion for acting. He pursued his dream by studying drama at the University of Miami, laying the foundation for his future in Hollywood. However, success didn't come easy. Returning to New York City, Stallone faced tough times. He juggled odd jobs and small acting roles, struggling to make ends meet. There were moments when giving up seemed like the only option. But Stallone's perseverance paid off. In the early 1970s, he started gaining recognition. His role in the 1974 drama, The Lords of Flatbush, earned him some early acclaim. It was a glimmer of hope, a sign that his hard work was starting to bear fruit. Yet, the best was yet to come. Let's get out of here. Stanley, we could do it on the layaway plan. The turning point in Stallone's career came with a stroke of creative genius. After watching the 1975 championship bout between Muhammad Ali and Chuck Wepner, Stallone was inspired. In just three and a half days, he penned the script for Rocky. This script wasn't just a story, it was a reflection of his own life, a tale of an underdog fighting against all odds. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. Presenting Rocky to the studios, Stallone faced a new challenge. The studios were interested, but they wanted a well-known star for the lead role. Stallone, however, was adamant. He wanted to play Rocky Balboa, the character he created and deeply resonated with. It was a bold move, one that could have cost him the opportunity, but he stood his ground. His determination paid off. Rocky was produced with Stallone in the lead role, and the rest is history. The movie was a massive success, becoming a cultural phenomenon and launching Stallone into stardom. It wasn't just a film, it was an embodiment of Stallone's own struggles and triumphs. From Rocky to First Blood, which introduced the world to John Rambo, Stallone didn't just act, he wrote and directed showcasing his diverse talents. Alongside his creative pursuits, he maintained a rigorous fitness regime, becoming one of Hollywood's most iconic figures. Now, let's dive into his diet philosophy. I was reading that you eat 1,100 calories a day. Oh, well, you know, that's not possible is it, to, to run around a lot, is no, it? No, no, no. If I know a scene's coming up, uh, let's say a scene that's going to be not very physical but extremely dramatic, mm -hmm. and I have to be uh, cutting edge anger, ferocious. Well, there's nothing that puts one in a bad mood than being hungry. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. When Sylvester Stallone was preparing for Rocky the Three, he followed an incredibly strict diet that was both extreme and unusual. This diet was all about getting him in top shape for the movie, but it came with significant risks. Stallone's diet mainly consisted of very small portions of oatmeal cookies made with brown rice, a staggering amount of coffee, up to 25 cups a day, sweetened with honey, and a couple of scoops of tuna fish. This diet was high in protein but extremely low in other essential nutrients. This intense diet regimen took a toll on Stallone's body, he pushed his body fat down to a dangerously low 2.9%, a level that is not just unsustainable but also potentially harmful. Body fat is essential for normal bodily functions, and such low levels can lead to serious health issues. Stallone himself admitted that while he might have looked good on the outside, inside, it was a very dangerous situation. 
he experienced both physical and mental exhaustion due to the lack of energy provided by his diet. The dangers of such an extreme diet are significant. It can lead to malnutrition, a weakened immune system, and long-term health problems. It's a stark reminder that extreme diets, especially those aiming for rapid weight loss or extreme physical transformation, can have serious consequences on overall health. It's all diet, what you eat is what you is. Stallone has since adopted a more balanced and sustainable approach to eating. This shift reflects a deeper understanding of nutrition and the importance of a well-rounded diet for long-term health and well-being. Stallone's current diet is more about balance and includes a variety of foods to ensure he gets all the necessary nutrients. Pain. I would eat one protein meal in the morning, legs without the yolk. A typical day in his diet might start with a pre-breakfast of liquid aminos, which are a source of protein. For breakfast, he might have three egg whites with half a yolk, Irish oatmeal, toasted pumpernickel bread, fresh papaya, and a few figs. This meal provides a good balance of protein, carbohydrates, and fruits. Lunch often includes roasted summer squash, broiled skinless chicken, a salad, and some figs or berries. This meal is rich in protein and fiber and includes a variety of vitamins and minerals. Dinner might consist of a salad, broiled fish, high fiber toasted bread, and occasionally veal. This meal is again balanced, providing essential nutrients without excessive calories. An important aspect of Stallone's current diet is hydration. He emphasizes the importance of drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Water not only helps to stay hydrated, but also aids in digestion and can help to control appetite. Stallone's approach to diet now also includes allowing for cheat days. He believes in the importance of giving yourself a break once a week to enjoy foods that might not be part of the regular diet plan. Now we know what the man likes to eat, but what about his workout routine? Uh, training with Franco Colombo, who is Mr. Universe, for Rocky II, and we got into this bench pressing contest. Not my idea, his. Sylvester Stallone's workout routines have been as iconic as his roles in Hollywood. Over the years, his fitness goals and methods have evolved, reflecting his changing roles and personal fitness philosophy. In the early days of his career, particularly for the first two Rocky movies, Stallone focused on building muscle mass. His workouts were designed to make him look like a strong, heavyweight boxer. This phase of his training was about getting bigger and stronger. He would spend hours in the gym lifting heavy weights, doing exercises like bench presses, squats, and deadlifts. These exercises helped him build a solid, muscular foundation. By the time Rocky III came around, Stallone's fitness goals had shifted. Now, he aimed for a more defined, leaner look. This meant changing his workout routine to include more exercises that targeted muscle definition rather than just size. He incorporated more cardio into his routine, like running and jumping rope, and focused on high repetition weight training with lighter weights. This helped him reduce body fat and highlight muscle tone. For Rocky Forge and Rambo, Stallone took his training to an even higher level. He worked with Franco Columbu, a former Mr. Olympia, who designed a rigorous workout program. This program was akin to a professional bodybuilder's regimen, involving two workouts a day, six days a week. Columbu's training focused on building a physique that was not only muscular, but also incredibly defined and sculpted. I work out pretty much every day. I've tried to change the, the routine. I'm always looking for new bodybuilding routines, and, and, and I have, so now I've got it down to like an hour a day. Nowadays, Stallone has slowed down, but he still has an impressive workout routine. While he no longer trains with the intensity of his younger days, his current routine is still rigorous and well-structured. He works out six days a week, with each day focusing on different muscle groups. This approach allows him to maintain muscle mass and definition while also keeping his overall fitness level high. This is what a workout in a week looks like for Sylvester Stallone. Monday, chest, back, and abs, incline bench press, four sets of 10 reps. Dumbbell flies, four sets of 12 reps. Close grip bench press, five sets of eight reps. Wide grip chin-ups, six sets of 10 reps. Bent over, one arm, lateral raises, four sets of 10 reps. Close grip seated rows, four sets of 10 reps. 
raised leg crunches, three sets of 10 reps. Tuesday, shoulders, arms, and abs. Military press, four sets of 10 reps. Side lateral raises, four sets of 12 reps. Bent over dumbbell flies, five sets of eight reps. Barbell curls, three sets of 10 reps. Seated inclined dumbbell curls, three sets of 10 reps. Concentration curls, four sets of 12 reps. Lying dumbbell raises, three sets of 10 reps. Bent over one arm. Lateral raises, three sets of 10 reps. Cable pull downs, three sets of 10 reps. Decline bench sit-ups, three sets of 10 reps. Oblique crunches, three sets of eight reps. Wednesday, legs, standing calf raises, four sets of 12 reps. Incline leg press, four sets of 10 reps. Squats, four sets of 10 reps. Seated leg extensions, four sets of 10 reps. Leg curls, four sets of 12 reps. Leg extensions, four sets of 12 reps. Stiff leg deadlift, four sets of 12 reps. Thursday, rear deltoids, traps, and abs bent over dumbbell, rear delt raise, four sets of 10 reps. Cable crossovers, four sets of 12 reps. Reverse pec deck flies, five sets of 12 reps. Barbell shrugs front, four sets of 10 reps. Barbell upright rows, four sets of 10 reps. Flat bench cable rows to neck, four sets of 10 reps. Ab crunch, four sets of eight reps. Oblique crunches, four sets of 10 reps. Cable crunch, four sets of 12 reps. Friday, boxing. Stallone incorporates boxing into his fitness routine as it offers a comprehensive full body workout. Boxing engages multiple muscle groups from the legs and core to the arms and shoulders. The constant movement and explosive punches provide a high intensity workout that strengthens and tones muscles. For Stallone, this is an ideal way to maintain muscle mass and improve overall body composition. One of the primary reasons Stallone includes boxing in his workout regimen is for its exceptional cardiovascular benefits. The intensity of a boxing session gets the heart pumping, improving heart health and endurance. This high level of cardio workout is crucial for Stallone, especially given the physical demands of his acting roles. It helps in increasing lung capacity, boosting stamina, and improving overall fitness levels. If you made it this far to the video, we would like to share a final departing message from Sylvester Stallone. His life and philosophy inspire us to face challenges head on, adapt to changes, and believe in ourselves. So if you struggle with discipline or keeping a healthy routine, let Sylvester inspire you. His journey encourages us to embrace our struggles, learn from them, and use them to forge a path to success. Remember, it's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the Fountain of Youth to gain direct access to the Fountain of Youth. And lastly, make sure you watch our video on Michael Jai White. He's 56 years old and looks like he's in his 30s. Until next time.